Hi there. I wanted to do a quick inventory of uh, everything that I've sort of accumulated recently as well it's a little out of date and I have a bunch more subscribers 2,000 now apparently. Hello nerds it's nice to see you and I well I've made some changes so I thought that we could go over it and if anybody has any great interest in anything in particular uh, we can try and do a shout out. Let's see, where should we start? Well, let's start at something we've already seen before, something newish. Uh, well, arcade cabinet, not finished. This, under a pile of bits and pieces, is the 1173 that I had with the big tape drive and disc uh, and a missing CPU board. And I'm not entirely certain where it went. I am now the proud owner of an honest to goodness Teletype Model 33 ASR. It is a wondrous beast. And a wondrous beast that's filled with little finicky things. So, that's still a work in progress. It came to me in working condition, but in sitting, if you don't use it regularly, it seems to not work so good anymore. Much like the DeLorean I have in the shed. Anyway, moving on. What have we got? These are the three good octanes, so I have an octane 2, an original octane, and then a slightly later model original octane. We've got one, two, and then behind that monitor, three, four Ultra 5s. These are all Sun SSPs for the E10K. Uh, one of them I bought for spare parts, but they're all now working. We've got an SGI Indy screen. There's a couple of Commodore monitors there, the 1084S's, which I favor. My languishing Z80 project, a bunch of PCs. We have up here, if I try not to wibble the camera too much, the E10,000 spares. Uh, and a couple of speakers in my Christmas tree box. So those are all the CPU modules. And then up there on the shelf are fan packs and so on. Go over here. Link terminal. Uh, unfortunately, my VT240s, which are down there, are just a little finicky. Uh, the link is somewhat newer and works a charm. What have we got? HP Apollo with an external disk drive and some spare RAM, and then we've got some disk sleds there. Cables, power supplies, keyboards. Uh, these are mostly Sun keyboards in the pile. Spare parts, CD jukebox, some Commodore SX64s. We have a small stack of Suns over here. What have we got? So an Ultra 2, an Ultra 1, then a Spark Station 5. On top of that, it's a PPC. Uh, TI 994A. Random switches, random boards. I think those are a couple of Pentium 2 SBCs. Spare parts. Uh, Commodore, I think that's a 128 with a ThinkPad on top. Commodore, Commodore, Commodores. I've got a dozen 64s of various types and a bunch of 128s. Drives, more drives, 2C. Uh, we've got an LC630, that's the DOS model, so it comes with the card that runs MS DOS under OS, uh, Mac OS rather. A 7200, which I think I have BSD on. Laptops. Big laptops, small laptops, new laptops, old laptops. Got some Sun 3s down the bottom here. Got a 3110 and a pair of 360s. And on top of that 360, that sort of silvered box, there's actually the upper casing of a 386i. It has internal discs that the 3110 boots off, and then the 360s net boot off the 3110. What have we here? A uh, complete lack of focus. Come camera, there we go. So, sun monitor, that sun monitor, and that sun monitor, both go to the 360s. This sun monitor here goes to the 3110. There's a serial turn there. Sun monitor, SGI monitor, SGI monitor, sun monitor, TV, uh, CBM Commodore, an 8032. We have some digital rainbows. At least one of those works. The other one may. I do have spare parts for those, which is kind of cool. 
These are nifty in that they have an 8088 and a Z80, and they both run side by side. Uh, and you can run it in Z80 mode or an 8088 mode, and when it's running 8088, the Z80 acts as an I.O. processor. It's a nifty machine. Deckmate 3. We've got some deck servers, deck stations. Uh, no, they're all deck stations. I'm not sure if I have all the parts for these. External drive enclosure. Down here we have an Epson QX10, I think. It's not a QX20. Uh, alas, the monitor in that died. Uh, it was dropped, unfortunately. Commodore 128 DCRs. These are the cost-reduced versions. They've got built-in floppy drives, as you can see there, and then a couple external drives on top. Wonderful machines. Mac Clone 2GS. Indigo, a bunch of Indigo 2s with some SCSI drives, and that is a Max Impact graphics board set. Sun RD, or oh rather, it's an RDI laptop, but it's got a Sun processor in it. The Vector graphics system, an Intercell development system. We have a, oh, is it a Sirius or a Vector? Oh dear, I forget. I think it's Sirius. This is what Chuck Piddle did after he left Commodore, and then Tremiel sued the crap out of him because Tremiel was a son of a bitch. Uh, Apple monitor, PC monitor, Commodore monitor, Commodore monitor, Commodore monitor, one there, and then there's actually a pair behind those. Deck monitor, uh, Mac clone monitors, more Macs, more Macs. IPCs and IPX, more Macs, that's the QX20 monitor that died. These are Motorola 603 PowerPC development systems, Motorola Power Stacks, a Frieden electronic calculator. This is a Rex, it's a home built Cat Z80 machine. Unfortunately, I've never managed to get it to do anything. Oh, let's step back a bit. Oh, peripherals. And cables, mini cables, power cables, USB cables, serial cables, and a bunch of modems. Mostly video cables. Cat5 and fiber and bucket o SCSI. Sue. Oh, goodness, more focus. Must move slower. Sun 1600. I just did a video on this. My beloved Sun E10000. Some 3800 with a disc box in the bottom there, and we have a couple of empty disc boxes, or sorry, uh, chassis in the top. Those go to PDPs. We have a pair of Sun 4 systems on the right, a 670M piece that's a multiprocessor Sun 4, and on the left, a 4470, which uh, I may have mentioned probably yonks ago, uh, hold a special place in my heart as the very first machines I ever collected were a pair of Sun 470s that belong to in. Internet service provider. This one is the front end to my InCube. The Sun 36i, a pair of E4000s, E450, got an HP Visualize system at the bottom, an Alpha Station, Microvax 2, a Xerox 860 IPS. This is basically a Z80 glorified word processor in an incredibly large case, with a beautiful portrait monitor. A monster printer with an ADF on top and a fabulous keyboard with a koala pad. It's a capacitance touch system. Fabulous. And I've walked into a chair. Oh look! PC monitor. Sun monitor. This is an SMS 1000. It is an all-in-one board PDP 1173. The system comes with an internal hard disk and I believe an internal floppy drive. Let's have a look. There it goes. On top is a Unibus expansion case. The lower system is Qbus, the upper system is Unibus, so it has a Q converter board, which goes from one to the other, uh, that has tape drive uh, boards in it. Moving on down, uh, still with digital. The 1134 that I started work on and sent the boards off to get looked at and they never came back. Removable pack drive, a CDC 9762. ProLiance, they are quad Pentium Pro systems full of disks and I've never powered one of them on unfortunately. Uh, although 
were given to me with good intentions. Mostly I use them to wheel around PDPs. We have a pair of Vax 4300s. I have two because, of course, I always cannibalize one for parts. One of them should work, I believe. I have run VMS on it. This is an RX02, as the label says. A twin 8-inch floppy drive for the PDPs. This is a DDS400. It is, in fact, pretty much the exact same machine, but a lot more hardware shrunk down, clearly. A slightly more efficient power supply, and the logic boards are shrunk as well. Progress marches on. This is the PDP, I think this is an 1123. This is the one that ran the pharmacy software. Horror. This is a Compaq. It's actually a digital DS40. Um, I've never powered that on yet, but I will. It has an alpha processor. In cube 2. So the cases for PDPs in the Sun rack. Those are the PDPs there. Uh, one of them is in case, I think the other one isn't. So I might have some spares. Uh, the lower one does say PDP-04. I don't know if you can read that. They are both 34As. They've been upgraded. And they go with these beautiful storage tech 9-track drives. There's another DDS drive system there in that sort of yellowy beige box at the top that has a Winchester and an 8-inch floppy drive. These systems used to run very large Xerox laser printers. They were the COM heads. Uh, I picked these up this year. The crappy compact that sits on top has an incredibly unusually rare, supposedly, not eBay rare as an actually rare, storage tech controller. So the PC can read write to the tape drives, which is fabulous. Unfortunately, the vacuum system on that one is busted. That's what the hose is on top. Uh, so the lower vacuum port doesn't work. And this one has read errors periodically. They need repair. I haven't spent a lot of time on them, but they probably will come up relatively soon because I'd really like to get one of these PDPs going because they were working relatively recently. This also came uh, along with my 1600s. The uh, two racks here go together. Uh, this one's supposed to have that lovely bumpy top thing as well. Uh, it is more obviously recognizable when the other case is on because it has the pendant. This is a Cray J90 system. So I am officially a Cray owner. It's a J98, an 8 processor system with 1024 kilowatts of RAM. Unfortunately, I neither have Unicos or the Sun front end, but I suspect I can find it. So uh, to be continued there. I'll probably do a hardware exploratory on it. However, I've got to find hardware manuals for it, and I've only got a few of them and not enough. This is my second Sun 6800, which I've mostly stolen parts for. Onyx 2, Onyx 2, Onyx 2, Onyx 2 head with an Origin 2000 bottom end, Onyx 2, and then there's another Origin 2000 there. That's a 2400, so it's a four processor system. Above that, these two cases here are Origin 200s, so it's just a different type of MIP service. They do, however, have the router boards in them, so with a Craylink cable, you can connect two of them together and make one system. We come around here. Oh, from over here we can also see some more of the sun spares. So in the corner we've got some radio antennas. Uh, we have center plane support boards, control boards line drivers, AC boxes, fans, all stacked up in there. The big Bostitch box is full of E10 cables from the chassis I broke down, a bunch of PC boards, Commodore stuff. That box there has a serial matching Commodore, which is kind of nifty. Uh, Onyx parts that I got spare when I traded the prototype rack, and then mostly empty cases. We have more Octanes, because I could just never give enough of the bloody things away. Uh, the E10K case from the other E10K chassis that I tore to pieces. Oh, oh yes, and around here. So this is the Sun 4800. Uh, in this Spark Array case, I do not in fact have an array system but a 
Sun 4 280, which has a failed power supply, alas, but I did get a great supply of VME boards with it. Uh, I think I have maybe two or three dozen spare VME boards from Sun, which is fabulous. Uh, and those also match the two machines I showed before, the 467 EMP and the 4470. That is that NCR disc array. Oh, books, magazines, manuals, all sorts of good stuff. Nine track tapes, some old 8 inch IBM floppies, Commodore software, my own books, and well, my own books and my own books. Let's see. And this one's, oh. The Cubics, of course. Uh, I have to try and fit in here. So this is the Sun 360 blade rack uh, of unknown origin, but I had a friend who used to run a couple of major data centers off these things, each blade net booted. Below that, we have some spare Dell uh, 1855 and 1955 blades. Below those with the blue cases are Lucent APX 1000s. They are TDM gateways. Uh, on the back you plug a DS3 in and it can split it out either to VoIP or to modem. So they can be used as remote access servers. And I worked for an ISP in New Zealand that used a bunch of Max TNTs as well as APXs for remote dial-in pools. Anybody want a thousand port um, BBS? And then the Dell 1855-1955 system that used to be at my office that I did do a video on many moons ago that has since been replaced with a Dell T620. So, lots of bits and pieces. More than I had before. Frankly, more than I bloody well need since they're all heading up to the door here. You can see that a little bit of the outside has come inside. It is winter in Iowa and unfortunately my um, rubber ceiling strip there is not as good as it should be and I didn't learn that until far too late in the season to replace it. Uh, once the door gets to 30 degrees you can pretty much forget about tearing it out I believe and it is 30 degrees in here right now although the temperatures are sure to climb shortly. Thank God for spring. So here it is. I will be continuing with videos this year. I do apologize for my lax behavior in the past few years. It takes quite a while to do these. Not whinging, just an observation. And unfortunately, my video editing machine is very sick right now, and I'm trying to organize another one. I have a machine lined up, but I have to do an always downgrade to run Final Cut, which I bought off eBay. Uh, but a very nice person on one of the rescue lists is giving me an OS 10 install set to go with it. So uh, hopefully in the next few weeks I'll get that sorted. I have a whole bunch of video edited from two different projects, or rather raw video that needs editing from two different projects that I have to get my crack together on. One of which is what I ended up spending pretty much all of 2014 doing. And uh, another work in progress, a bit more of a make than geek stuff. And then I got a little thing to try and get organized and get to you. Anyways, if you have been, thank you so very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, or if anything in particular interests you, let me know. I'm always here. Thank you so very much. Have a wonderful night.